So rule number one, first step fearless. So the biggest part of any journey, guys, is taking your first step, right? And that's usually the hardest part. Have you ever tried to say, make a commitment that you're going to go on that diet or you're going to go into the gym? Taking your step into the gym the first day is the hardest day out of the entire journey ever, right? It's all about momentum. And there's certain parts in our life where we may have built negative momentum, right? So, for example, let's say you want to build a business for yourself. You want to have some money. But the momentum that you built for yourself up to this point may be a negative bank account. Maybe um, you've been watching TV or going out with friends a lot rather than you know, learning how to make money. So in order to reverse the negative momentum, we have to start building positive momentum. And that starts with just taking the first step. Now, the biggest reason why I found a lot of people don't take their first step is that we put this pressure on ourselves. Like, you know, if I do this, I have to succeed. If I, if I, if I do this, it's got to work. But when we do that, it causes that kind of paralysis by analysis because, you know, it probably isn't going to work. As a matter of fact, when you first start, it's probably going to be absolutely terrible. Like one of my mentors said to me once that anything that's worth doing is worth doing poorly at first. You probably are going to suck. And that's okay. It's okay to not be good when you start something. Um, and being okay with that, not comparing ourselves to others, not comparing ourselves to Johnny, who's got rippling perfect six-pack abs and an Adonis type of body. That's okay to go into the gym and just do five push-ups. If that's where you're at, then that's okay. But taking that first step, if you don't get into the gym, you don't take do those five push-ups, I can pretty much guarantee you're never going to look like Johnny, right? But if we can just get that first step and start the, the little bit of momentum and just be consistent with it, just do a little something every day that gets us 1% better than where we were the day before. No matter how long, eventually we're going to get there, right? Um, but if you know, sometimes you can equivalent to this. Let's say, for example, you go to the store, and you ever see if you go to the store, you got these these bananas, right? The, the banana when you first buy them, they're like they tend to be a little green. And I don't know if this is a good analogy or not, but let, let, let's say you wanted to eat that banana because you're hungry, but it's still green. You want the banana to ripen. You getting excited, and and maybe cheering on the banana, or maybe getting stressed about the banana. Like, come on, banana, get ripe. Let's go. I'm hungry. Come on, banana. Usually, you, you're, you can stress all you want, but that banana is just not going to get right no matter what, right? The only thing that's going to happen is time. You just got to be patient. Eventually, the banana is going to ripen, whether you're stressed out or whether you feel good. And just like that banana is going to ripen, so will you if you just take small steps every single day. Now, you can choose to put tons of pressure on yourself, get stressed out get anxiety, get worried about how bad you're doing, or you could just wait patiently for the banana to ripen, be happy, and more likely you'll probably do more throughout the day to get yourself to your goal faster than buying, trying to you know, bite off more than you can chew in the beginning. So it's all about just taking that first step, being okay with not being perfect, and just taking some action every single day. All right, guys, so if you enjoy these videos here and you kind of you like this stuff, it's got you pumped up, you're all fired up, you go to sixfiguremindsetebook.com. You can go ahead and download. We got a free PDF for you, and it's got all the bullet points for the stuff that I've mentioned here in the PDF that you can actually stick right there on your wall if you have to and remind you to do these things every single day. As a matter of fact, I have them myself typed out in a book that I look at with my credos every day as well. So I highly recommend Go there right now. It's free. Download the ebook. Put it on your wall and go out there and kick some butt, guys. Sixfiguremindsetebook.com.